Hi everyone, this is Trevor from astrobackyard.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Optolong L-Pro broadband filter. I'll use this filter through a telescope for some deep sky imaging as well as with the camera lens for some backyard shots to kind of show you what to expect when shooting from an urban location. Uh, I'm kind of an extreme case at Bordel Class 8, so if you're near the edge of town or if it's any better than that, you can expect even better results. No filter can replicate a dark sky and magically remove all of the light pollution that's uh, above you. But filters like the Optolong L-Pro help even the playing field, even if you're in a red zone like I am. I have high hopes for this filter. It was sent to me directly from Optolong, with the stipulation that I use it here in the backyard. Deal. My hope is that the L-Pro filter will help me capture more natural looking images with accurate star color rendition of broad spectrum targets. Now this means targets without emission nebulosity like most of the targets I shoot back here. A traditional CLS or UHC filter is more aggressive than the L-Pro. Yes, it'll block more light pollution than uh, something like the L-Pro, but it also can kind of mess with the colors of your image and cause a color cast. The filter I use most often back here with my DSLR cameras specifically for color data is the Skytech CLS CCD. Now this filter works great on targets uh, like Emission Nebula, like the Sol Nebula, the Eagle Nebula, all that good stuff. but. For broad spectrum targets such as the Pleiades, it will just create a red color cast over the image, which makes it really difficult in post-processing to correct both the color of the object and especially the color of the stars. A filter like the L-Pro is a multi-band pass filter. If you look at the spectral graph, you'll see how much more it actually allows than a harsher CLS or UHC filter. Uh, so more specific cutout wavelengths for light pollution. It's a very detailed graph that goes up and down and that's why these filters are a little more expensive because I, apparently they're quite difficult to make. The deep sky target I've chosen to shoot to uh, showcase the L-Pro's abilities is the Seven Sisters, the Pleiades Star Cluster. It has a blue reflection nebulosity that's just really beautiful, very cool colors. So a perfect subject to test a broad spectrum broadband filter like the L-Pro. I've avoided capturing broad spectrum targets such as this from the backyard just because it's such a pain to cut through the heavy light pollution. My personal best image of M45, the Pleiades, was taken from a dark sky site about 45 minutes from home. My hope is that the L-Pro is a filter that lets me capture natural colors here at home. For my image of the Pleiades tonight, it will be 90 second subs at ISO 1600. Pleiades is a large object, so for that reason I'm using a full frame camera, a 5D Mark II, and a wide field telescope, the Zenith Star 73 APO. So that has a focal length of 430 millimeters, and the full frame camera opens up even that much more sky. So uh, enough room to capture the Seven Sisters with lots of room to spare around it. Uh, the other interesting note about this camera is that it's stock too. So for all you stock DSLR astrophotography shooters out there, uh, I'm finally shooting with a stock camera on this channel, I think for the first time. Uh, and this lends itself well to broadband targets like Pleiades because it is those cool colors that a stock camera will produce, whereas a modified camera has a way of making everything look a little red. The only thing that's uh, taking away from the image is that uh, the moon is out 
it's uh, about 60% tonight. That will add some glow that uh, is not needed, but uh, it should be okay. I'll control the camera with a simple uh, shutter release cable. I'll set my exposures for 90 seconds and run uh, probably about 100 of them and uh, going in to check on it every once in a while. And the shots will be unguided on the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro SynScan. That's my old Skywatcher mount. So unguided shots of 90 seconds are no problem with a mount like that uh, as long as it's wall polar aligned. The version of the L Pro filter I'm using is the 2 inch round mounted 48 millimeter. So this actually fits very nicely inside the field flattener, the flat 73 uh, for my telescope. And this is a great spot in the imaging train. It doesn't get in the way anywhere. It's not actually holding onto the camera itself, uh, putting extra stress on the threads. It's a nice spot inside the imaging train, inside the flattener itself. So what this means is that you could use this round mounted version with uh, any type of camera, whether it was a one shot color camera like the uh, 294 MC Pro, uh, the Altair uh, Hypercam 183C, uh, anything like that, or of course uh, full frame DSLR. Now there are a lot of other versions of this All Pro uh, in different formats. So there's the full frame clip in version, it's kind of that rectangle shape. Uh, the uh, EOS C, so the APS C size uh, sensor version, and that's the version I've got. Uh, I put in my Canon T3i for some just some backyard shots. So not only are those shots an example of uh, the filter with a modified camera, but with a camera lens attached, the Rokinon 14 millimeter f 2.8. They also make these filters, uh, the clip-in versions for Nikon cameras as well. Uh, if you're looking for a be-all, end-all solution for for a filter of this at this price point, go for the two inch round mounted version that threads onto the flattener and you can use it with whatever camera you wish. The more gear reviews I do, the more I appreciate the little things uh, that come along with the experience and for the Optolong, uh, stuff like the premium packaging, uh, the nice case that it comes with, little snap in case, foam case, and it actually comes with the filter transmission curve uh, printout along with the inspection sheet, the testing results, um, numbered and with the tester's name on it. So this company is out of China and uh, that's actually where uh, they send it directly from China all the way to St. Catharines, Ontario here for me to review. Uh, but I love seeing this kind of stuff. Um, the whole presentation uh, is very well done um, here in North America for users of this filter such as myself. The one thing I will say about the packaging though the picture they use, the default, is uh, Optolong H-Alpha, the, the picture of the filter on the box. So if you don't read the, uh, the bottom printout to see which filter you actually have, you might get a little alarmed that they've sent you an H-Alpha filter. I'm going to put some test images up on the screen of Pleiades that I took through the Z73 telescope, one unfiltered and one with the Alpro in place. You can clearly see that the stars are smaller and sharper in the L Pro version, and of course that background sky is much darker with better contrast. Uh, both images were focused using a Batmoth mask, so it's a true head-to-head -head comparison, and uh, the, the images were not uh, processed in any way. That's straight out of the camera. Next up, I'll show some shots of my backyard that were really cool, actually, when I, when I first shot them and saw the results. So if you look at my pathetically bright backyard sky over my house, uh, unfiltered versus the one with the Alpro, it's uh, night and day. The Alpro gives me a sky that I wish I had and wish I could see uh, through my eyes like that. Uh, it just cuts down uh, so many of the sources of light pollution. Uh, very specifically too, it still has a very natural look to it with a, with a stock camera. Uh, yet in, you can see in the trees that uh, the light is so much more cut down you can actually see the, uh, the, the color of the leaves in the tree as opposed to just a reflection of the street lights. Now my neighborhood is a mix of uh, old mercury vapor and high pressure sodium lamps and uh, there's on the main street there's LED street lights. I'm not totally sure whether the Elpro actively blocks LED street lights. I know they're difficult. It's bright, bright blue and ultra bright. Like I said, my neighborhood's a mix of modern lighting and some of the old school stuff, and you can see in the image that it, it helped a lot. I'm really curious to take some more shots using the Alpro and a camera lens. In the summer, 
with the Milky Way. If I could get a Milky Way shot from my backyard using this with enough exposure time, I'd be over the moon. All I know are space analogies. You should see me, I use them all day at work too. So with that being said, I really hope you enjoy the image at the end of this video of the Pleiades captured from my bright, light polluted backyard. It will be the, I believe the first, no, it's not gonna be the, the first broad spectrum target. I've, I've done the Whirlpool and stuff. I've done a few galaxies back here, but the first one that was uh, using a stock DSLR camera. And I also believe it to be the most natural looking image I've ever captured back here. Based on what I'm seeing from the individual image frames, I really think I'm going to be able to pull out uh, a deep sky image that rivals uh, one with maybe not so much exposure time, but from a dark sky site. And to me, that's really exciting to be able to do that kind of stuff without leaving home. That's kind of what it's all about. So if you've got skies that are darker than mine, expect a better version of M45 than I've got here, but um, I'm hoping to get at least three hours or more on the Pleiades, and I really hope you enjoy the image. If you're looking to order the Alpro filter from Optolong, you can get it at High Point Scientific. I've recently uh, hooked up with them, and uh, they'll be sending me products for review in the future. I actually just received the first one uh, last week and maybe you saw that photo on Twitter, but uh, I'm trying to keep that a bit, uh, a bit of a surprise uh, So yeah, if you see links to I mentioned to High Point Scientific, I've got a great relationship with them now, so uh, Thank you so much for everybody for watching and subscribing and a special thanks to uh, Melissa at Optolong for sending the filter along. I hope you enjoyed the review and uh, until next time clear skies